It's the best part of the stream. The Florencio Files cast. All right, all right, all right, guys. Let's go. It is game and number... I think this is episode number four of the Florencio Files. And down here on the bottom right-hand side, the man himself playing on a barcode, being a little bit cheeky. It is Florencio. And his opponent up here in the top left-hand side of the map playing Zerg. Okay, I didn't realize he was playing Zerg in this game. <laughs> so it looks like he's off racing. It is a villa. Avalo. Probe already coming out across the map with this pylon on the low ground. Florencio, an absolute madman within his own rights. Uh, within his own right. He is, of course, I believe he's like mid to high master. Is he master one? I'm not sure of Florencio's exact rank. All I know is he's high enough to once in a while match with some of the really high ranked guys. And uh, every game usually involves a proxy nexus or some sort of ridiculous cannon rush. And it. <laughs> All right, we got a forge down. Looks like it's going to be the cannon rush variation. Now, his probes have tried to dodge this overlord. Does the overlord see? I don't think it's going to spot this. Uh, these probes have kind of dodged the vision of Villa has no idea and here we go coming right into the back Try and hide there. Um, it's actually a gas pool opening a Villa playing about as safe as you possibly could but he has no idea Oh, he's checking for it. He's checking for it. Oh a Villa. That's so funny He mines five minerals because that's what you do as Terran, but you actually lose that five minerals if you're so um, Oh my god, he wasn't watching a villo! Re! 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 Oh my god, he's gonna be so friggin' mad, man. Um, looks like the other probe actually went home. Oh no, there it is. It's up in the top right of the map. Okay, that's super random. Uh, the probe comes in and is like, okay, might as well just start some uh, cannons back here. Meanwhile, a uh, villo only now starting two zerglings. And he's got no idea. Oh my god, a villo. Uh, we've got a gateway up at home. I believe that's a full wall off. Impressively. It looks like Florencio is actually thinking about taking an expansion. Funnily enough, he's also built a cannon here before even expanding or building a cannon on the front, but only now does that first cannon go down. These two Zerglings <laughs> from Avillo just gonna chill out. They're gonna have a snack. This one's scratching that one's tail. He's like, oh, get, get right in there, right? Just scratch me, right? Oh, yes, that feels good. Please don't stop. Oh, I'll give you a scratch too. Let's go for a jog. The Overmind said we have to go scout or some shit. I don't even know. He's, he's kind of, he, he talks a little bit of a lisp, doesn't he? Yeah, but I mean, technically, he is our overmind. We've got to do what he tells us to. It's fine. What's with the hat he wears? I don't even know, says Zergling number two. It is a weird hat, isn't it? Whatever, we better carry out his orders. We better just keep going, see what we can get done. Um, meanwhile, oh shit, gas deal's going on. And he just cancelled, I think, his roach warren. Now he's going to go for a baneling nest. The cannon's popping up at the natural, starting to shoot his base. Oh, a villa Zerglings, a little bit lost. They're like, oh, we can't get in there. That's fully walled off. They're going to freak out. Um, a villa's trying to build a spine. He's trying to spread creep down here. And <laughs> three cannons. I think more than enough to take this hatch down, man. The hatch are already down at about half life. A fourth cannon even going to go down. That pylon actually is a little bit exposed. So, ooh, the probe goes down. And it looks like that cannon will go down as well. But actually, the queen's stepping into range here. The Zergling's going to come in. Oh, man, they're going for that cannon, but they can't even get the proper surface area. Terrible engagement by a villa. He's gonna lose everything. He hasn't taken out a single cannon. One cannon will finally fall to the queen. But that hatchery is still in range of this last cannon. This cannon starting to regenerate its shields. This cannon, I think, might be in range of that as well. And it's definitely gonna add a lot of support there. A villa is in full panic mode right now. He's trying to figure out how to deal with this. But the hatchery looks like it's gonna go down. He's gonna try and engage. Florencio paces his Twitch channel like the douchebag he is. I love it. Uh, right as he's about to go. He's got to focus fire the hatch. He's going to focus fire. The cannon focuses the hatch and it's going to go down just a few seconds before this cannon falls. The hatchery does go down. Florencio with the ultimate BM move. Shouts out his Twitch URL. <laughs> Takes it down. Spine Krill is finally going to clean it up, but Avillo is down at 24 workers. Uh, 20 workers at 24 right now. There's a super random nexus in the top right of the map. Okay, why not? <laughs> He's got his wall off here. Avilo hasn't even scouted to check what's behind this. He has no idea if it's one base or two base. He's probably going to assume it's two bases. Um, and it is, but it's in the corner. There's a reason no one will ever watch your stream, says Avilo. Did I already cast this game, guys? I feel like I might have already cast this game one time, or at least watched it. I don't even know. I feel like I, maybe I saw a clip of this game. I think... So. Wait a second. I was looking through his YouTube channel and I watched a minute or I skimmed this game 
on Florencio's YouTube where someone, I think, did it from Avillo's point of view. They, they recorded this stream. I, this, I'm getting deja vu right now. I am getting deja vu. I swear I've seen part of this game before. Avillo is going to go for a Baneling boss counterattack. Um... There's only one cannon, but it does have two pylons powering it, so it could be reasonably powerful. Avilo is only building Ling Bane. The Assimilator, I think, has been seeing these Zerglings popping out. So Avilo, too busy being angry to even try to rally his eggs around. Not, he's just, like, too busy typing, getting angry, frothing at the mouth a little bit. His Zergling's going to run right through the vision. Oh, the Banelings come through. They managed to take out one of the pylons, but they are going to come in. The cannon takes some big damage, and uh-oh. He is going to get the wall off up, but I think the cannon's going to go down. Oh, man. There's only one Zergling inside. Maybe if he just drops a few more cannons, he could actually get it up. He's got to pull some probes, though, if he wants to hang on. Meanwhile, double Stargate in the top right-hand corner of the map. He's still got that corner base, but he's got to hang on to his natural wall if possible. Oh, God, that's not a wall off. <laughs> that pylon was misplaced. Florencio showcasing his immense skill there with the perfect pylon placement goes for the wall off his stalker does get sniped down and oh he's got two cannons in the main okay that's not too bad all right so we still got the mineral line up for now a villo though will be able to crash banelings in here i don't know if florencio can hang on here maybe you should recall the probes oh he's gonna do it and a villo doesn't even see he says lucky you have no brain he doesn't realize is he gonna realize when he come in here comes in here or is he gonna be too busy bming florencio <laughs> Banelings are going to run in. Uh, those cannons are spread out. This is not an efficient way to take out those cannons. But it looks like he's going to do it. He's just going to click on them with the Banelings. Apparently Zerg units are free in the mind of a villa. Why not? Um, oh man, blowing up so many Banelings unnecessarily. He's going to take out these Zerglings. Avilo's like, oh shit, I fucking got you. You thought you'd be cheeky with a cannon rush, but you fucking suck. Oh, you think Zerg's overpowered? You're full of shit. How about you shut the fuck up? I'm winning you, dog. Oh, no, no, no. I think alarm bells are wrong. Okay, I think Avilo knows. I think he knows. He's got some Zergling scouting. He's like, uh, yeah, I talk now. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Oh, my God. Avilo is not too happy about how this game opened up. Uh-oh. He knows. He knows about the expansion. He's going to go for it. <laughs> you beat me fair and square, says Florencio, trying to lull him into a false sense of security. <laughs> Mouth shut now. <laughs> <laughs> he can't even type full sentences. Oh my god, the Zerglings don't even scout the base. Avilo's too angry. He's getting baited hard by Florencio talking in chat. Oh my god, Avilo is finally going to scout <laughs> a fleet of Void Rays heading his way. And he's going to go, ah, I've got three queens into Spore. Shit. Um, not enough to take on four Void Rays by a long shot. His Queen's are gonna come to the low ground. He's trying to build more Queens. He's only building one Spore. You need more than that, Avilo. I don't think Avilo realizes exactly how strong Queens are. He's seeing them through the eye of his uh, Terran player who just assumes Queens destroy everything. These Zerglings headbutting into those cannons at the same time. Holy shit, a 10 kill cannon there, 11 kills, make that 12. Void Rays take down the natural of Avilo. He is back to one base. He's trying to build spores up there, but he's only got two queens to support them. Florencio styling all over Avilo right now. And, uh, well, that's, that's, that's actually the shittiest way to die. I have, like, fucked up cannon rushes before to the point where I'm so dead, but I've randomly run across the map with, like, three or four Void Rays and won the game, and it always feels like you've cheated You've cheated fate or some shit. Like, you're like, I was never meant to win this game, but I guess I got really, really lucky you had nothing that shoots up. Avilo's like, ah, oh, fuck you, I'm gonna try and take my hatchery again. He's like, oversaturated pretty badly right now. What's the probe count? He's got 21 probes, two stargates here. He's trying to build oracles now. Okay, why not? Add some disco balls, a bit more mobile damage output to those void rays. Maybe land a stasis trap as well. And Avilo building one queen and two spores at a time. Not really the dream position to be in. He's also got overlords all over the map. If the Void Rays find them, that's going to be disastrous. He is wrecked. Oh, we've got a line of Spore Crawlers. Thing is, this seems good against, like, single Oracles or single Void Rays, but four Void Rays can just overcharge and kill a Spore almost instantly. Look at that. Oh, my God, it gets one, two, two shots off before it dies. Uh, not the best counter. Oh, my God, the Spawning Pool is going to go down. He's going to start the lab before the Spawning Pool dies. Uh, just to make sure he can try to get up to Hydra Tech. He's trying to rebuild that. The Queens come forward and they manage to tickle. Eight hit points of damage off that Void Ray. Meanwhile, another Void Ray comes in the back. <laughs> Kills a drone, damages a few others. Avilo has got to be so tilted right now. He is struggling. Let's check his APM. He is at over 250 APM. 350, 400 currently. 250 average. What is he doing? 
I don't even know. I think panicking is probably the right answer to that. He's just droning like crazy right now, though. He is still massively oversaturated in his main. Really needs to transfer workers to the natural. Uh, not quite used to, of course, the Zerg economy buildup. But uh, here we go. More oracles on the way. Four Stargates on one base. Florencio, once again, really showcasing his immense skill, knowledge, and understanding of how much production you can support off one base. To be fair, he does have like 800 gas banks, so... He can kind of support this for a while. Um, he's just banking up oracles in the back. The Void Rays are just continuing to be D-bags. They're going to come in, pick off the drone. They're going to try and overcharge and take down the Spore. Oh my god, the Spore taking a ton of damage. Good transfusers from the Villo. But uh, there we go. The Void Rays just going to continue to come. Is he just... No. Oh my god. He just clicks on the hatchery. What the frack? Oh, that's so bullshit. Oh, I love it. Florencio, that is how you tilt someone. Oh my god. What am I watching? True Edge, thank you for the 32 month site, my friend. He says, sub hype. Dude, dude, coming up on three years. Thank you so much, my friend. So, right now, I can only imagine the monologue going on in Avillo's head and probably on his stream. Fuck this guy. He's a cheesy piece of shit. He doesn't deserve to win. I actually won this game. He only won because I won it. The only reason he's winning is because I won and stopped trying. He didn't actually win. He isn't really winning. I won. But it's only because I won that he is winning. Because that's how the game works. I'm pretty sure it was... I think I'm probably like 80% accurate with that interpretation of what Avilo is saying on his stream at the point as this game was playing. It's got to be something along those lines for sure. Thank you, Infinity, for the 62, uh, 627 for the Twitch Prime sub. Tax Cup for the 5 bit here. Appreciate that, guys. So, uh, one Void Rays died. The rest of these guys have royally dicked Avilo, who's now going Hydras. Hydras pretty good up against Void Rays, right? What are Hydras not so good against? Um... Oracles, of which there's seven of them out, and they are still building only two at a time because he's supply blocked. But that's all right. He's trying to build them four at a time, and it's it's it's, it's what you try to do that really counts. Uh, these Hydra is going to run around the Queens there. I do also like, by the way, there's a GG spray paint on the ground from Florencio. Uh, comes in and decides to fight Queen Hydra with Void Rays. Not the wisest idea. Avila says, yeah, look at this guy. He's so fucking bad. I can't believe he's taking these fights. Oh, my God. Florencio says, uh, what was that, buddy? What? Well, was that? Do you think? Did you think you were winning? Did Did you think you were winning this video game? I'm sorry. Welcome to the laser ball disco fucking oracle ball of death. Do you like pulsars? Do you like beams? How about we put them two together and smash them into your drone's face? Oh, you think spore crawlers are good versus oracles? Nah, just joking. Uh, two hydralisks with no upgrades. How are they gonna do? Yeah, not too well. Out comes the easy Florencio, of course, trying to get a little bit more of a reaction out of a villa. The froth and drool spraying out of Avillo's mouth, the fact that he's smashing his keyboard repeatedly, not quite enough to feed Florencio. You see, Florencio is a little bit like some sort of dark demon from Stranger Things or some shit, except he feeds on the sadness of other streamers and StarCraft players. He really needs to push them as far as he can, specifically to lap up as many tears as possible. He says, give up, noob. Uh, Avillo right now has gone past the point where he can even form words. There's just strange, angry, stressed sounds coming out of him. His stream viewers are starting to get a little bit worried. They're starting to donate and subscribe, saying, oh, let's hope he's okay after this one. I know I wouldn't be. Uh, yeah, there's there's a lot of oracles out. He's building one Hydra at a time. This is, uh, I mean, this is reminiscent of that one time I saw Idra playing against Elfie at IM Guangzhou, the first ever international event I ever went to. And uh, he kept rallying Hydras out one at a time into six Phoenix, which picked them up one at a time over and over. And it went on for about 10 minutes. And at no point did Idra change the rally point or just GG or tap out of the game. But you could see his face kind of get a little bit redder as the game get on, went on because he was really fucking pissed off. And I've been there before. I've been there microing to the last Hydralisk against the 26 Disco Balls. But I gotta say, Avilo, I don't know if it's gonna end well for you, buddy. The Spore Griller goes down, the Hydras go down. The perfect opportunity for a little bit more BM. And of course, he does tap out of the game. Probably paused and then quit the game rather than just leaving it since we can we can interpret that's probably what went on in that game. Uh, good couple of mind games from Florencio there. Did manage to kill 29 workers that game. The units lost tab, you can tell it was a very high economy game. Florencio lost 6,700, Avilo 11,000. And uh, Florencio is also trying to take some natural expansions because I mean, I don't know if you guys know, but if this is your main base 
That's the natural and that's the third. And that's actually just a scientific fact due to reasons and logic known only to Florencio because he's a legend. Thank you, Florencio, for your absolutely ridiculous replays. You are a psychopath. That's off to you, buddy. So, guys in chat, uh, do you want me to cast another game or two of this? Shall